and this should also be sound. Let us know if there are any sound issues. We have changed our setup once again. Um, and there we go. Should, should we tell the story, or will we let them discover it? Let's uh, let's let the intro play out, and then maybe we can give a little more information after that. Um, I think this is the first time the intro of the game has been shown, certainly in full and certainly publicly. Um, this is the build that we showed people at Gamescom. Um, so if anybody's read any previews from press or such, um, then yeah, you, can, you, you, you will have you will have heard about this, but you won't have seen it yourselves. Are those swords in the game? No, those swords are separate. But also no, no awesome. There's no the no swords in Call of Cthulhu no, confirmed. Not even on a wall somewhere. No tentacle cutting slashing. That doesn't <laughs> we don't work. we don't cut any candles. No, it's not that kind of game. Is this a remake from the old one? It's not. This is no. a, a new story, right? Yeah, it's a new story, and it takes its inspiration from the role-playing game pen and paper as you say and also from all the stories from lovecraft so it's a brand new story with a new character called uh edward pierce who is this an heavy chain keeps the gate detective. locked <laughs> I hard, hard boiled hard, hard boiled, boiled it's very difficult to say <laughs> <laughs> um yeah he's a he, he's a he's a cool character actually and i i personally you this like is, him this is honest i like him and yeah. i like his voice acting particularly oh, and he talks yeah. to himself through the game um you guys are hopefully hearing him a little bit right now um, when he's complaining about not being able to see and the general sort of weird scenarios and yeah the actor was great I think it's one of the best thing in the game where the voice acting is excellent mm. uh, we put a lot of effort into the writing into the dialogues and we got very good actors to convey that in the game yeah it has some really nice voice acting and, and it's it's so important right because you know it's a game about characters we've got a question here that's you know is there cool. a way to defend yourself it's not a combat game it yeah. is an RPG. Yeah. There are moments within the game where you come into conflict with other characters, and we <laughs> we don't want to spoil too much. But you know, th there are moments where stuff like that maybe happens. But ninety five percent of the game is characters talking to each other. Yes, and because problems. the creators of the mythos are way much stronger than us. You can't even um, look at them in the eyes. It's very dangerous. You will lose sanity if you do that. Okay. So you you can just hide and seek, mm. uh, and try to. You can't verify them and try to get away to get away and that's all yeah you know they're, they're mysterious beings they are not um, they're not just a guy that you can punch and, no. and get him out of your way and, no, no. and when there are times when that happens then sometimes you have that option available to, to, available to you and you'll see maybe some of that as we go through what else what other questions have we got did you play the RPG when you were yes when you exa were exactly and our main uh, game designer used to be of course a good uh, game master of the RPG uh, so okay very well like experienced yeah, yeah exactly because um, it is the, the official adaptation exactly. of Chaosium's RPG which has existed for I mean it's a long time now that, that they've been the making 90s. editions right yeah um, and I, I, I always wanted to play it I haven't played it personally um, I never managed to, to find a group that wanted to yes. delve into the depths of Cthulhu with me yeah, Oh, it's and very difficult and very cool at the same time. You know that I never had a good ending uh, any time I played. It's because not, the it's game, not a game is that gives not you good about endings. yes, and this is not about having a good ending. It's about seeing how far you can go uh, with your character and how you will die uh, lonely and miserably and how mad you will be at that moment. So as you can see, uh, poor Mr. Pierce has woken up. Yeah. It was all a dream. Or yeah. was it? Yeah, I love how he says. It's been a while since I, I jotted whiskey, down something. You can drink whiskey. Maybe we should show the player what happens if you drink too much whiskey. Oh, yes. I love yeah. it. So, in fact, playing for us today, it's neither of us. You may have seen no controllers in our hand when we were on camera. It's Tom. Tom, say hello. Hello. They can't see you. Uh, they, they can't see you. Tom is here. He's doing yeah, our controls, sorry. and he's the one now downing whiskeys at a rate of knots. So many questions. I, I don't have uh, yeah, the time sorry. to read uh, them. Let me take a look through. So this game is a horror RPG. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, exactly. Horror elements, RPG elements. Narrative. And then, yeah, a narrative game on top of that. A lot of talking, a lot of investigating people. And now we're drunk. <laughs> so what's the background of the main sex. character? Um, Edward Biz is a former soldier. Mm-hmm. From the Great I used War, to be an he avid reader. France, and where, where he saw terrible things. So he, have a, he has the a... Wentworth Agency doesn't problem. attract mm -hmm. psychological cases. problems. He was in the First World War. He did not have a good time in the First yeah, World War, as yeah. most people involved with that did not. Exactly. And Married he has an, also an alcoholism problem. And he's oh, now a detective, but he's not a top-notch detective. No. Yeah. So he is. He's, he's very good at his job, though. It's just that he 
is an alcoholic yep. and he has PTSD yep. and it's the 20s. Yeah. It's not the best time to be dealing with those issues, you know, yep. not the, exactly. the kind of support structures exactly. that we have today. So he's very good at what he does and you'll see that as we, we explore through the game. Um, mm. Exactly his capabilities when it comes to that sort of thing. But he's also not supernatural. He's just a man dealing with... Exactly, exactly. With the Incredible occult problems. And, yeah. Natural sciences. Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure it's Jonathan Reed's reality. voice. It is, in fact, the same voice actor that uh, was the main character of Vampire, one of, of Focus Black Home's other games. Uh, he did a fantastic job with that. Yeah. Does a fantastic job with this. Yeah. I didn't notice myself, but um, I, I think he's brilliant. And he was recently in the, uh, the latest WoW expansion, where he's also great. Mm -mm. I'm listening. So, you have a... I'm looking at the potions. How does skill? Let's go. Let's go with this. So, how do the skill upgrades That's work correct. for the detective style game? Ah, uh, so you have uh, various skills, and they will help you, of course, um, progress through the game. Um, they will impact uh, on the way you solve puzzles. Like, for Is example, right? if you have a, if you are very strong on strength, you can intimidate people. You can also try to force your way um, from forcing doors. How yeah, do you forcing that? through doors. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, you got exactly. it. You got Thank you. So, in fact, you see the, the skill menu oh, that we have at the moment cool. is on screen at the moment. Now, this exactly. is in development. Um, I've actually seen a new version no, of changed, this that's, yeah, that's coming up. Changed, um, yeah. We didn't have it for the build today. We need mm -hmm. to make sure that we had a stable build um, and so on and so forth. So, th this is going to take some changes. But you see the basics of it here. Um, and it should be very familiar to anybody that played the RPG, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, a Spot Hidden is direct tech from the RPG uh, table pen and paper, how you say mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, so, there is a strength. Uh, yes, you have to, to be strength to progress through the game for what we are going to show you. Um, all, this, all the skills, uh, you need uh, character points to enhance them, except for the two who are orange, uh, medicine and occultism. Uh, you have to read books, like in the RPG, uh, to increase them. And of course, you may guess that uh, occultism has a price to pay. Uh, the more you will be versed in this. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. okay. The more you will be versed in that skill, Maybe the more crazy you will be. It's, uh, you don't want to get too close to the occult, but you also need to. It's a trade off. And you want to. And you want to because, because it's, you, you know, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah exactly. What's the estimated time you need to finish this um, game? It depends if you read anything or not. It's from yeah. 10 to 15 hours. Okay, yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. I, I think my first run took work around 13 14 yeah uh, and that was a different version of the game which had yeah, less like exactly. you know we've been adding content and that sort of thing yeah yeah. Um, it so, it yeah yeah it depends how many mistakes you make <laughs> along the way yeah and if you're afraid of the dark maybe <laughs> That, that's from that actually, honestly, that, that took that was one of the reasons it took yes, me as long. Yes, there's one map that is so frightening. So we don't use we don't resort to a jump scare this kind of stuff. No, not too much. This is not our style, but uh, it's all about the atmosphere, the mm -hmm. sound design. Uh, our sound designer is excellent. I love him. Hello, Swan. Um, so and there's that the map. The I can't tell you a lot about that, but what's steam. funny in the studio is and that when that every each one of us has to test it to to test to check, I don't know the dialogues or something we have to play it and we remove the audio You're because we are very time, afraid sir. of it even if i have played it like dozens of times and i'm still Webster, afraid of it sometimes i scream one of the levels we might show later if we get far enough um is the one that took me ages the, the manor just took me ages to get through it reminded me of some old games that freaked me out yeah. it's got like that little kind of silent hill vibe to it slightly <laughs> um it reminded me of the the hotel level in vampire uh the from 2003 and i was just like oh, i can't do this i kept tapping out like oh I, there's an email i must write i must do this and, uh, i got through it in the end i got through it in the end Sarah Hawkins. Uh, so what is happening right now is this is the father of one Sarah yep, Hawkins. Stephen Webster. Uh, he's come to her so get Edward Pierce essentially yeah, to yeah, investigate to his, 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 uh, his uh, Sarah, daughter's death. Yeah. So what we try to do is grandson. building the tension. So anything. it begins like a classic uh, detective Find novel. Uh, that guy comes in she and he gives you a case that doesn't seem very interesting. It's about an already dead girl, so you're like, I can't do anything for her. But he kind of insists. And have. you need the Look, money, so you will accept the case and you will go to Darkwater. And been. of course, for the people who buy the game and love Lovecraft, Tell you already have a few hints about how creepy or strange it might be. Because the, the, the dead girl used to be a painter, uh, as you can see the painting here. And fight? she was, uh, how do you say, habitée? Living? Madness. 
No, it's not that. He's not that good in French. She has visions and she paints her visions. I've, I've it's been like, set up. <laughs> it's like she can see things. And yes, of please. course, the father. Right. What? Possessed. Yes, thank you. She's possessed. That's all I'm you've sorry got. for my accents. The I'm painting. Really French. Um, I placed a fire. It gets more desk. French than this. It contains okay. everything. As, as, as an Englishman in France, it gets more French than this. Uh. What else have we got? The character reminds me of Watson from Sherlock Holmes. Is this a reference or coincidence? You are the one to ask about this. Yeah, not at all. Not at all? Coincidence? No. no. There you go. I think, I think he's kind of sexy. He's wholesome. No? Handsome. Handsome? Handsome, yeah. Aware Who, Watson or, or Pierce? Or both? No, Pierce. Pierce. Pierce? Sketches Pierce of the bit. Hawkins family. I, I, I think Pierce is quite handsome. Yeah, he's rather fine. thin. Yeah. Uh, replay value. Difficulty sayings, no, but multiple choices on situations, yes. Four different endings, depending mm -hmm. on your choices the during the game, and also your level of sanity. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, so, there is no good what ending. do you make of There's this? There's the bad ending. There's the worst ending, ending, the even worse ending. And the not that bad, but not still very... Still pretty bad ending. Yeah, still pretty bad. And sad. So you see our uh, conversation system here. Now, you notice there's unlocked Meaning. answers. These come from exactly. things that you've investigated in the world. Given that we're in the tutorial, the investigation here was looking at the thing on the desk that we were given. But they are they get more advanced through the course of the game, for example. Um, and you... Uh, you know, you'll you investigate a, a scene and you'll... Yeah, kind of exactly. Character. If you find a letter, you can go the back to the captain, to go back to the right of the letter, you this kind of stuff. The and also, you can use your skills in during dialogues. Uh, to, yes, investigation. Maybe we should show investigation. Her this one is unlocked be because you have the good investigation level. It means you're a good investigator. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is Japanese. more to this case than just yeah, my an accident. <laughs> Which, uh, That's all I can say in Japanese. Better than my job. You must yeah, tell me if what the police suggest about the mental <laughs> state of your daughter is true. <laughs> no. Sarah had oh, visions. Everyone knew that. Stop talking. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought Did she Did you play saw Dark Corners of the Earth? No, I'm sorry, never. I have. It was oh. good mean by that. Yeah, I never knew words. what she meant by that. I, am I? I My don't daughter know. was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. Yes, the game you is coming. Find out the truth about her October. life. Yep, just in and time for death. Halloween. Yeah, because Halloween is a very the important Sanders date in Lovecraft's work. Warehouse. Oh, really? I didn't know if he actually made any references right. to it or not. Uh, yes, of course, with it. it's from the novel, uh, the short story, The Call of Cthulhu. Oh, well, there Directly. we go. Yeah, because you have to know that Lovecraft was very good at everything uh, science-related, in astronomy, this kind of stuff, he loved it. But the occult in I'm his to work of art is not that seriously taken. He didn't, he didn't really like I'm occultism. So every time but he has to pick a date or express something, he, he doesn't her. look at for much. He just says, okay, Halloween is good. Because Lovecraft painting, was really so afraid of the size of the universe. In the Which 1920s, it's nine. time of great Find astronomical uh, discoveries, Find out the and uh, it, it just, they just death. discover how You'll be small we are in the universe, and this All is right. that something that I'll frightened him. I'll go to dark. Water. Yeah, yeah, that inspired him, the cosmic horror, Thank you, Mr. the Pierce. idea of the great old ones, this mighty gods, not very mighty, not like Thor. Something's queer. Yeah, yeah, strange, <laughs> you, strange like beings. Much. Unexplainable, so, inexplicable. Yeah, far dark away water. from our grasp, what mm. our small spirit can take. Off the coast of uh, can you tell us which Lovecraft stories but inspired this game uh, besides Call of Cthulhu and Shadow of Innsmouth, presumably? Uh, so these are the two ones we based the scenario, the script on. But uh, we loved a few other ones. Uh, I liked um, The Nameless City, for example, because uh, it's a story that... Um, it's a story with, without any characters except the narrator. It's a guy going to a temple and he water. discovers some uh, walls and some carving on the wall about carving on the wall, mm -hmm. carving, Correct, yeah, yeah. yeah, about um, people who have di disappeared and they are not very uh, human people. And this is the story that prefiguré. Prefiguré? Prefiguré. Any French you give me is not going to give you whatever you're looking yeah. for. Pre preludes. 
dexulometers. Sorry, my translators are really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. Amazing. laughs> all right uh just before we go into the next level oh wait that didn't do what i wanted to that did hello everyone uh just if anybody's joining us late this is going to be call of cthulhu my name is ben i'm here from focus home interactive we are the publishers i'm wearing a, a shirt which has the word focus on it which is how you can tell this is pia she's here Hi. from cyanide studio who are the guys that are making it yep. she's the lead narrative designer on the game any story questions anything else hit us up in the chat um, I've turned the game down slightly so that hopefully there's slightly less confusing audio. We do have the subtitles on so that you can read that. Um, a lot of what you're seeing today has also been in our other trailers, so if you want it without us at all, um, then you can look at it there. Uh, and of course the game is out October 30th, and you can pre-order now on Steam if you're super excited already. All right. So they, they are asking about Lovecraft creators. Mm -hmm. um, not Lovecraft, but the role-playing game. So we have the Dimensional Chamber. He's in the game. We, we, we showed him already during the trailers. And you will have some references to other Lovecraft stories. But I can't tell you more. The, the difficulty of, of talking about this game without spoiling, without spoiling it is, yeah. has been a constant difficulty. And we're like, oh, should we mention this super cool thing? Oh, should we hold that back? Do we want to talk about what happens with this character or that yeah, character? Yeah, yeah. Even, you know, stuff like that we were talking about earlier where we mentioned, yeah. oh, there's four endings. For some people, that maybe that's a spoiler, but you know, it's stuff that, that certain people need to know, and hopefully, people who are hyper. Uh, uh, oh, people talking about Eternal Darkness. I love that game. Oh, really? Have you played it? Did it? it I, ha I played. I played. On the GameCube, it's about one half of, the, of it. Yeah, it's one of the most underrated games ever. And underrated. It's really yeah, it's underrated. Uh, it is. It is Lovecraftian. I agree. With yeah, that. yeah, of course. Did it did influence what you did with Call of Cthulhu? Um, not that much, because mm. when I arrived on board, the game was already. Uh, uh, you know, under development. Yeah, it, under there had been some work so, put into yeah, it. Already, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't barge in and say change everything. I want to do like that. Um, but it's yes, of course we looked at that. It's one of the references. Mm -hmm. Someone asked about loading times. Yes, they are slightly long at the moment. It's still being worked on, um, and you know, game's still in development, as you can imagine. Oh, and that's one of the that level of optimization is something that's still being worked through. Can you get a demo? No demo planned at the moment. I apologize. Eternal Darkness was immense. I think you've, you've got some fans. Is this going to be the only Lovecraft title you make? That I don't know. You guys. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah all right. on everybody if involved. You, if think. you love it, because uh, here at the studio, we feel like we have a lot of uh, different stories from Lovecraft to, to, to say, so we, we are okay to do another one. But our soundtrack is better, you will see it. Will the great race of Yith be in the no, game? No, they won't. No, but that's right. funny because we talked about them at the studio recently. But it's very difficult to adapt them into a video game because they are extraterrestrials. Oh right, they were I think discoverer yeah. of you know uh, explorer, but they yeah. lost their bodies. So now their spirit wander and they world. can come into your spirit. Every time you say a new thing, it's like more difficult to put it in the game. Yeah, so that's why they are not in the game. I know you discovered Captain Fitzroy. A nice guy. He's here to show you the island. So, what wind so in fact, we're now on to Darkwater Island. So this is the home the of Hawkins Sarah Hawkins and her husband Charles Hawkins. Um, yep. uh, they have both died in a fire that happened at their mansion. I don't know if we get a shot of the mansion when we're walking Charles towards... Mm. I think it shows up in a second, or Tom will look at it because he's a... Uh, look at him. It's right. Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, so we, we arrive here with Captain Fitzroy. He brings us on his boat, the Scylla. Um, and this is kind of one of the only boats coming into Darkwater anymore because it's essentially an abandoned fishing town. The people that live there are the people that have always lived there. Nobody has any interest in going there otherwise. Um, tell us a little bit, I mean, you know, what was it like building the world of Darkwater? Um, it's a... It's a weird place. If it's the Hawkins family, yes, uh, actually what we did first I was uh, write in the background uh, what was Understood. this island, what was its history. So we went back quite long. You will discover it through the game, uh, through uh, collectible uh, items that tell you about the story uh, from the 14th century to uh, now. So it's quite, uh, it's quite a huge job with it. Uh, Darkwater used to be a very prominent uh, whale hunting 
place? Hey, Whale, hunting. Whale hunting. Yeah, right. Village. Village, excellent. The but then all the whales away. disappeared. The Actually, uh, men hunted them Only too much. Specialist. But also in this very place, they don't disappeared. They don't the really know why. So now there is not a lot of work on this place. It's kind of abandoned, as you can see. But you can find some um, memories of its um, golden age. Warehouse 36. You can find it on North the bar, uh, the stranded well. Ah. Uh, you can find it in all the and places, so you? and you will meet the characters. I didn't Bradley, uh, as you as you see Edward now, Pierce. the policeman Bradley is a very interesting in and case, important character. Important. Yeah, I'm actually I'm a big I fan of Bradley. When I first met him, I can't. He wasn't my favorite, or you don't. Um, but he grew on me at a rate oh, of knots, no, no, and I think no, I'm not getting he's, into a, those he's, games, he's just a nice guy. Now, all right, more questions. Why did you make the choice job. to play as a defined character and not a customizable character? From my perspective, just as someone that's played through it, it allowed you to do some things with the narrative. Um, particularly using his background that you wouldn't have been able to do with a customizable character um, certainly not w without you know without without having to change the story in huge ways depending on exactly how, how a character works yes exactly uh, as it's a very narrative a game uh, we worked on what we call linear linear storytelling linear storytelling yeah Correct. There thank you, go. you. Uh, through cinematics and this kind of thing so you need a character that has his own story his own face because we are not a very big studio uh, as you need we we are craftsman this kind of stuff how would you say that? Artisan. Artisans? Artisan, yeah, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, we, we are a small studio, so we can't deliver this uh, kind of cinematics with if you can create your own character. So we decided to go with a guy with a strong backstory, uh, so it will be interesting to show how he reacts uh, uh, facing the madness, the hey, kilometers, this careful. kind of stuff. If you, if you just take a blend character, someone you, you create from scratch, uh, you can't have this kind of uh, deep relationship with character, with Let's other get him another drink. So that really is a choice we made. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw it just like me. That bum deserved a lesson. Yeah, but he's regular, and you're not. I can see that you and I are off to a bad start. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. As you're about you know to see, in fact, prohibition is um, warehouse 36. likely followed on the island of Darkwater. Nobody's particularly interested warehouse. in the idea of not drinking. Um, there isn't a whole lot to do here. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around. I just read strength test. How do you tests work? First it's, uh, off, so we have two kind of Sailors tests uh, here for the skills. You, can hear uh, you have the, the level of skill, right. so that's when Screen. the game tells that's you you need to be a professional, a master, this kind of stuff. Off. And you also There's have uh, hidden dice roll, uh, mostly in dialogues, but also uh, to else? solve some puzzles. So that's like in the pen and paper RPG uh, that Fitzroy rolls the dice and beer. the more points you oh, have yeah? put into the skill, the more that chances you have you to, to succeed. One of the things that oh, I found quite interesting when I first started playing it because is this idea toss. that some Many skill tests, it doesn't matter how good you are, mm. sometimes you will still fail. Yep. Because Anything essentially else? it's a world that hates you. And it, it, it be and what happens is it isn't like you, you fail and therefore, oh, no content for you, you don't get to enjoy this part of the game. It's more, okay, you failed at doing this, that has this consequence, that means this character now doesn't like you or, or won't give you some information, you need to find a new way to solve that. So it isn't like failing is actually a... It's not a state that reduces your experience, it just no. changes your experience. Yeah, exactly, it changes the path or it changes the way you go through the path. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a question about guns. I've rarely yeah. seen a woman. This is not a game where you're going to be running around and shooting people every five what seconds. Right that is not me. something. No. There are moments in the game in which firearms so appear. I am being very deliberately stranger. vague because it is later on in the game. Um, and you'll have to experience yourself exactly how, how that stuff plays out. But if you're asking, does it turn to Call of Duty? No. Is there a sanity system? So, 
Sanity is in the game. Um, so I asked, I saw a question earlier that was, you know, what's the difference between hit points and sanity? It isn't really that sort of game. It isn't a game where you have a health bar. And it also isn't a game where you have a... Uh, the idea of like a sanity meter where, oh, I saw something spooky. Now my sanity has dropped and I need to not look at the spooky thing and it'll go back up. Sanity is more of a global system, I would say, that um, goes through the entire game and decisions that you make affect what, how... Pierce is feeling, for example, the drinking that we did earlier. Yes, but not your best bet. Uh, reading the books, mm -hmm. that's very from the RPG. Reading some books, choosing truth. The real truth is something your spirit, your mind can't grasp, so that will affect your sanity. And also, the, the matter, matter from here, most, the more mad you are, story of the, more mad you are. The, more, the more mad, yeah, that works. Yeah, the more yeah, mad you are, you yeah, you say, can uh, unlock some different uh, dialogue entries if you are very mad. Uh, yeah. yeah, very mad. Where's so it's, it's, it's a system that is Where with is you throughout that? the game, but it doesn't work as a we kind of, it's not like a second health bar or anything. No, 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 we didn't want that. It's very much a game that isn't really about the idea of, you know, managing your own HP or anything. Again, it doesn't turn into a... A, a shooter what? of that sort at any stage. Yeah, we wanted something right more immersive. You. Our grandparents tasted uh, What era is the game set in? It's in 1924. Mm -hmm. So during that 1920s setting, well. um, shortly after the First World War, which is why our, our Edward Pierce is still suffering from the issues that he, he encountered there, mm -hmm. um, and also why Prohibition gets to be a part of the plot. Exactly, and also because that's um, contemporary to Lovecraft, so a it, miraculous it was... Catch. If I, was to pick up, that, if, yeah. I, if I was to pick up a Call of Cthulhu game, knowing a little about Lovecraft, and it was set in that 1990s setting, that would be surprising to me. That wouldn't be what I expected. Um, no. And I think, particularly because, you know, you want to make a good call, it's a game called Call of Cthulhu. It's yeah, very exactly. much the idea of the, the base kind yes, of mythos. That, that's what mythos. people want. Yeah, so we have to make sure that that, that that stuff is in there. Yeah, exactly. Will there be some sort of stealth system? There is a light stealth system. Um, you may see it later on in the demo. It depends exactly what, um, what routes we take. Uh, but there is some stealth gameplay in there where, you know, you need to avoid, um, uh, I guess you'd call dangers. them... Yes, yeah, so you, you, so you need to avoid dangers, yeah, uh, exactly. be they mortal or otherwise. Uh, mm. And in fact, we, we, have, um, we have some stuff in the works, not in the stream, that might be coming out in the near future Later, where, that yeah. explores the stealth system slightly. Um, so if you're interested in that, then keep, a, keep an eye out on our YouTube channels and our social channels. I brought out What's the Fitzroy Charles got Hawkins so cargo manifest. So as you saw there, we were in the bar. Um, that's kind of the, I guess it's the first hub area of the game. You, you explore there when you, when you first get here. It introduces you to a few characters. Um, and something I thought was very clever, and I suppose this is, this is stuff that you were doing, is you get there and that guy, the first guy you see who you know, spits at your feet and is very cruel to you, it immediately sets up what the island's like. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. like you because you're not from there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what we wanted to convey. Like, no one really right. wants to talk to him, else. and that makes the case more appealing. That's a classical uh, storytelling. How free are you to explore the island? So I, I'd say the game, it has linear sections, and, and we've seen this in here, you know, there's the, um, the linear section of before when you're in the office and when you're in what the dream the sequence, and then you yeah. have this more open section where you can explore this little area. Then after this, you'll see we'll go into a more linear section. So there's no, there isn't like an open world map or anything this like that, but you do have the option of exploring different areas as you come to them, depending on how much you want to. And yeah. you know, if you're a player who just wants to go through the main story, you can kind of rush for that. Or as you're seeing Tom do, you can explore more of the areas, find more clues, this can affect exactly how, you know, different options you have in conversation later, as yeah, well exactly. as your understanding of the story. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we wanted the first maps to be a little bit more uh, free than the last ones. Um, uh, the the size of the Captain map Fitzroy depends uh, on the morning. feeling we want the player to feel. So sometimes it's going to be a little bit more claustrophobic or intimate. It depends on uh, the tone of this the story, place seems half how you progress in the story. Can you change how characters respond to you? Something like a relationship system. Now, I know there's been some back and forth in the development yeah, side exactly. on this. Where have we ended up in the, the kind of beta um, version of the game? So there, there is not what I will call a relationship system like you can have in a Dragon Age uh, video game with, like, as you said, management of uh, relationships with characters. But yes, uh, the, the main characters of the game, you will see them various times. And depending on how you answer to them, they will remember it and they will open or close some um, branches for you. 
So, of course, you I will have to deal with the repercussions of your choices. Of the man in front of Indeed. The ah, yes, I can see the one. Uh, another question here. Uh, Interesting. Why a first-person camera? Why not a third-person camera? Like they do but speak brilliant. And Louis McLaren of Fuck, presumably you were going to go. Okay, we, we should have just done it all. Yeah, like, I can John do that one. Fitzroy. That's the only one I can do. Oh, yeah, okay, you can't just speak the language. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. we, we wrote we some sentences. We wrote some sentences uh -huh. in the language, but uh -huh. it was very long. It took us a long time. Uh -huh. I, I did it myself. I, I was oh, wow. with my dictionary, online dictionary. Hat. So what can we say? Right. It was mind. difficult. I don't remember that, office. but I know that but one. Uh, that what one. does it say? Uh, it says that oh, in, in his uh, Sinkin City, Not lying, exactly, no. dreaming, he's awaiting to live in the city of oh. This is the most uh, famous yeah, sentence, and it's funny she because uh, the actors had... It was very painful for them to say it, so that's why I know it by heart, because everyone, in every time a new actor came into the voice recording, we had to do that a lot of time with him. So I can totally know that unreal. one. A couple of questions yeah, about why first person over no third person. I mean, this just comes into an immersion thing, right? Like, yeah, exactly. That's a decision. Also, because uh, he's a detective, and we really wanted to be different from the Sherlock Holmes well the uh, video games, this kind of stuff. Mm. So we you were asking ourselves, how can we make something different? And we feel like the first person, uh, when you're confronted to the mythos creators, could be know. very cool. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. I'm looking for that Warehouse 36. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So you right want there. to know where the can the idea from making a call to the, the game with the most subtle, 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 subtle horror? The B is just, just not there. You know who the, the subtle building horror. horror. To, um, that's by basically to stay true to Lovecraft's writing. Lovecraft uh, was never about uh, jump scare town. and Precisely. big noise Ship and monsters running Sun. everywhere. It's I more about the atmosphere, building the tension, what's hidden, and you can see. It's like wandering in the dark. I shall be um, on my way. And also for the so beginning of the game, uh, as you can see, it's the city seems uh, normal, but with, a, with something a little strange. I was, I was asked almost this exact question. Um, we did an IGN live show at, uh, at Gamescom, um, which I suggest everybody go and check out if you want to see some more and a little more talk on the game. Um, where they asked, you know, how do you do the horror in a Call of Cthulhu game? Yeah. And for me, it's like you need to build the atmosphere first. You can use a jump scare. A jump scare is a tool within the horror toolbox. Yeah. But for a, a Cthulhu game, you need to build, deal that, uh, build the atmosphere of something being not quite right, something doesn't like you, the, the people here don't like you, um, and then you can you can then do what you like to the player after that because they, they're in that mindset where they're creeped out. And if that involves a jump scare, sure, but then you can do more with Every the idea piece. of, you know, subtle horror. And, and also, as developers, Sorry. we We're believe that players, they don't do remember here? jump scares. I'm investigating it's the death very of effective Hawkins, immediately, but Darn you it. tend to uh, forget I'm about them. Uh, while you My will forget, I hope, square. for a very that long time, this, months ago. some maps. We have some specific maps we did Who for you. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? Yeah, exactly. Scare that comes from the imagination. Yeah, you 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 start to imagine what's coming. Um, good writing for world. video game oh, is yeah. about connecting you the don't dots. Know the truth, so in Call of Duty, we don't give you all the answers, stuff. all the clues, uh, all the keys to understand the story. Thank we give you, you bits of the story, help. and you have okay, to sir. think. You have to to think about it, and so you can guess what happened. Just to catch up on what's going on in the game, so we've arrived uh, on the island of Darkwater. We need to get into Warehouse th 36. Um, this is an area that uh, it's known that the Hawkins were involved with. Um, I believe we know that they owned it at this stage. Uh, and so we're trying to work out how to get in. It's been locked up by the police because they're investigating it. We went to the police officer. We said, hey, let us in. He said, no, because we're just a private detective. Who, you know, he doesn't care for us yeah. from Jack. Um, we're now trying to get past these 
Fine gentlemen. He's very upstanding, definitely not thugs. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to also tell us to go away. Um, and so there's a number of different ways to get past this. And this is, once again, I mentioned that there are open areas and there are more linear areas. In this more open area, you have the option of, you know, how do you want to get into this warehouse? And depending on how you do that, you'll see different things, you'll experience different areas. And again, you can fail to get past these guys. You can fail to get into the, the warehouse a different way. And then you will see different areas by doing that so you're getting more content you're getting more interesting areas by doing that rather than just um you failed so you don't get to see something yeah exactly so we'll see which one which way he chose yeah we'll see what happens and, and for example you could never come over to this left hand side of this island yeah you could never see any of the stuff we're seeing now you don't have to um eavesdrop on these guys you don't have to talk to them in the first place you don't have to find the way past them. You can do everything on the right-hand side of the island. You can do both. A um, bunch of different ways to get through this situation. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Uh, somebody asked here specific about the uh, the conversation system. Yeah. Are options that you don't have access to grayed out, or are they simply invasive? Your saint. It depends. I've we just have two. We have two is. options for that. That's true. Uh, if it's skill related, it will be shown gray. Mm -hmm. So uh, and it says you clearly that you don't have the, the, the skill uh, you need. If He's it's right. what we could clue no related, you, we For won't show moment. it to you because that would We're spoil annoying. you about an information you didn't get. Mm -hmm. We don't want to give you information that you aren't supposed to have exactly. through the fact that you can yeah, read it or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and the clues are the information you get uh, through um, exploring mm -hmm. and talking to people. Statue. Yeah, so we've seen that if you've seen the little unlocked logos exactly. those are the ones that will be invisible if you haven't found the stuff that shows them whereas the for example the fist which is the strength icon that will just be grayed out if you don't Two have enough strength to, exactly. to do that so if you fail you cannot fail the other but uh, that's more complicated than that because we will be lousy game developers if it was like that <laughs> you have a different path and we have what we call uh, should, I, should I say the trick? Go ahead. Again, we, have, we always have a security path that yeah. unlocks itself if you fail. I love that one on the docks. She's uh, yeah, very yeah, it's good. classy. It's yeah, good. she's cool. I have an so yeah, you know, it's, you won't ever be blocked from progressing if you yeah. get particularly unlucky or your skills don't match up to that particular set of challenges. Um, but there are a number of different ways to get through, one of which you are likely to hit. And eventually there is one way that is... What would convince you um, that There's you cannot fail exactly. that will, will yeah, eventually let you through yeah. and what, what we tried sure. to do was that uh, every we'll edge of this path of are cool leggers. in a different way there's not one if you fail everywhere every I'll path the security Take one is not less cool We're than the other ones nowhere. yeah it's still it's still uh, it, it doesn't feel different from another path yeah, essentially yeah. How much will the game cost so it's up on steam right now you can pre-order if you like it's out on the 30th of October which is in what like a Two months. couple of months yeah. couple of months um, it currently costs, uh, so the, the base price is 45 euros. It's on 10% discount for pre orders. Um, I believe, can I see here how much it costs? No, because I don't have enhanced Steam installed. It's around $45 uh, and probably around £40, I would say, based ah, on normal, normal transactions. 40 euros, that's and what you would. Yeah, because it's, it's 45 base so and then it's discounted yeah. to 40 Dis All right. by the 10%. I yeah. can't even say which language it's. What really. language is with the games you brought? A lot, actually. Uh, there are, in fact, I can. do you want to read all these yeah. out? Uh, there are French, French, English, Italian, German, yep. Spanish, mm -hmm. and now I can't translate these it's from the Italian. Polish, oh, it's there we go. Uh, Brazilian, uh, Portuguese, mm. it's Russian, uh, simplified Chinese, and um, oh, that's one. We all, we will have maybe another one. There. Two more. Okay, sweet. Two more. So uh, still still being uh, transferred. Yeah, so yeah, uh, the audio is English only, but then we yeah. have all of those languages for the interface. Um, for, you know, pop-up hints and um, that sort of thing. So exactly. you see here that we managed to break into... Ah, cool. Well, we managed to lockpick this door. Again, the lockpick you could fail and you would never find that bottle of liquor. We're not actually going to take this route because there's another one that we want to show you. Exactly. But you can use that bottle of liquor to, I believe it's bribe these guys. You can bribe the guys, the two drunkards, and they will start a fight with the bootleggers. Yeah. You can also go straight to the bootleggers because this is the clue. A clue? Mm -hmm. uh, evidence. evidence. This is an evidence that they have been uh, stalling and their boss is stuck. But who is their boss? Who you will meet the boss. 
So you, you will sh we will show you an already uh, a different path. No Japanese. I wish Japanese. It's not a fixed yet. Maybe. But it maybe. could happen. Yeah, it could happen exactly. Yeah, multiple. There yeah. are multiple endings. Four details. Endings. Uh, no details, but there are multiple endings. They, in my opinion, yeah, are all representative of the universe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is the route we're going to take. Ah, uh, I love that. It route. looks like there's this a was. Way this is. One that is based around the idea of if you've upped your strength, as we mentioned at the start. Um, it's also a more investigatory route. It's a more solo route. Yep. This doesn't involve, you know, Pierce doesn't have to talk anyone to do this route. He doesn't have to um, be particularly good with people. Uh, he can just find uh, items in here that will then allow him to um, to open that grate. And if you see down at the bottom left, we have this question mark icon that's popping up. Do you want to explain that, Pierre? Yes, that's the hidden object uh, item. And uh, it's... Um, Bleep, bleep, bleep. Like, I don't know how you say that. It beeps. It beeps it at you. Beeps, it blips at you. It blips. Uh, as blinks, yeah, as long as you have uh, items to find. And when you have found all the items, it will be checked. And it is also a hidden uh, ro ro dice roll. It's also a hidden ro do a roll. Yeah, there's a, there's a roll. Sorry, for sometimes I... Uh, you can't have it if you failed it. Mm -hmm. It's like in the RPG. And so this is kind of a way to, to hint at you that there are items that you can find around the world. Yeah. They show up in green rather yeah. than white when you mouse over them um, or look at them with the, the gamepad. Um, mm. And it, it's just kind of a little bit of a helper, but it also has a, uh, you know, a core in the RPG system and yeah. you can raise your spot hidden skill if you're interested in finding all those items. Um, and as you can imagine, and here we need to have strength. Looks like everything is in its place. All well, I he have manage to do it. Is turn this He's going to be super awkward if he fails now. Yeah. I believe in you, Pierce. Well yes! done, Pierce. <laughs> and we'll see what's down there. Are there multiple play playable characters? No, but given the way that you can customize Pierce's skills, um, there is replayability in that way, in that you know you want to pick different skills to see exactly how conversations can go. And also. And also. Yeah. Maybe there's some other stuff. Maybe. Where. Yeah, we Things know, can happen. but you don't. Hmm. Maybe. So is this game similar to L.A. Noir as far as investigation goes? So we'll show you an investigation scene. Yeah, it's, it's coming up in a second, and you can see yeah, exactly how it works. It's pretty different. It's mm -hmm. pretty different. We don't have all that lying system. This is not about... <laughs> it's, it's not quite as much about interrogation no, of no, people. No, no, it's not about interrogation. It really it's is about atmosphere spoil. and finding stuff. I hope it's not toxic. <laughs> so as we uh, descend into the depths here, now as I mentioned, this is a, all of this is unique to this route, all of this underground stuff. Um, if you got past those guards, you just end up um, with the... Uh, ah, so cool. <laughs> you just end up in the warehouse naturally. Yeah. Let them see that part. It was all very normal. Yeah. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary there. Yeah. That's exactly what we try to convey. Sometimes uh, you feel like you're losing it mm -hmm. and you're going back into reality in, in the blink. Yeah. And you, we, want, we really want it to express in a game, which is something that's very difficult, is like when your main character this is, is uh, questioning primitive. his own sanity and you have... Um, what we call irony is when the reader or the watcher or the player knows something more... What? Dramatic irony. Yeah, thank you, dramatic irony. Something more than uh, his main character. And, and sometimes it, it can be very cool for the story. Sometimes it can ruin the story if you don't uh, manage it. Oh, uh, uh, if you don't find stinks. the middle, the sweet spot. 
So that's what we try to do. What is the of course you play Call of Duty, so of course you case. know that everything is happening for real, but how will you uh, live it, experience it through Edward Pierce? Indeed. I hope there are a lot more moments like this. There are. We are. We know that we have shown um, the, the tentacle grab under the, the warehouse a couple of times in different trailers. That is purely a spoilers thing. We could show you the other ones, um, but they are later within the game. They exactly. reveal more stuff about the game. Um, and they are related to the story. We can't show Exactly. Them. There may be a little glimpse of that sort of stuff in uh, upcoming trailers. So, this is our investigation system. Um, do you want to go over this, Pierre? Uh, this is what we call the we reconstruction. Uh, it's Hawkins. like the, the crime scene is frozen, and using your deduction skill, you can uh, see what happens. So, we, we just used, uh, used occultism to know that there was someone, uh, what he feels about the painting. Let's look at this photograph. You use psychology. What is this picture and of Charles is the picture and Sarah Yeah, Hawkins you failed your psychology, here. so you have this particular guy on the bed, and you don't know why he's doing that. If you had uh, succeeded in psychology, you would have found it another uh, piece of looks. information. And psychology is one of the skills in the game. Exactly. Much like medicine. medicine. Money um, and all, all of that, depending on what skill level you are and how the skill check goes, you will discover different things about exactly what's happening and that'll unlock new dialogue options. And also, like, you know, some of it doesn't necessarily unlock something in the game. Yeah. Some of it's just, what do you know about the story? Exactly. And when do you discover different things? When do you understand certain different uh, different areas. Exactly. Can you die? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. How does death work? You die. Uh, can you die from going insane? <laughs> kind of depends on your definition uh, and your definition of truth as well. Uh, and is there any going back then? There is. There is. You can, you know, if you die, if you get a game over, which do happen, um, you know, you load a save file and it works as it would in another game. Um, but obviously there are threats in this game that perhaps you wouldn't be used to from another. Exactly. Yeah, so each scene can be seen in many ways. Yes. Threaten him. Oh, threaten him. To hell with you, Bradley. I actually like Bradley. I'm sorry, Bradley. Poor Bradley. I see only one overweight police officer and one. Yeah, I love that line. <laughs> Edward Pierce is a savage. <laughs> no, a if it's the player who wants law. to be a savage, he can. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Look what I found. All right, he's coming down. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange point. Uh, are we going to sp uh, spend Wait, our skill points? Yeah, we'll spend it. them at the start of the next map. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to <laughs> Tom's like, no, I'm not going to show them the skill so system. They don't deserve it. it. Removed from the crime scene. Would you say this game is a good introduction to Lovecraftian horror? Personally, yeah, I, I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Of course. Yeah, exactly. You want to go back long along his trail? But, as Tom says, um, it is also good for, yeah, it's good for long-time fans. Um, I, I would say it's like the second the major piece of Cthulian mythos that I've personally like imbibed. I played the old Dark Corners of the Earth game yeah. um, and I played this game and that's basically it. I've had different stuff along that time, you know, movies and stuff that have that have used it as a reference point. Every um, a lot of movies use it. The, the thing is that like almost nobody is completely like absent from the Cthulian mythos yeah. because it, it's referenced so much. Um, I've been playing the latest WoW expansion. It's, oh, it, there's so stuff about it in there yeah, where they've referenced fine. that yeah, sort of thing, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, it, bad, it's all over the place and it's used all over the place to, to tell different stories. So, uh, as an actual smiling. Cthulian mythos, actually official Lovecraft game, okay. um, I think it's a great introduction to that actual universe. And I think Who it builds great on the kind of assumed knowledge that everybody has yeah, about and the also, idea of cosmic horror. But, but we had in mind we had the long. Players, the, we we had the, the, the fan uh, in mind. We really long time fans. Yeah, th thank you. The long time fans we had in mind. We really didn't want to disappoint them. So that's really what we tried to do. You see the building. How much do you need to know about Lovecraftian lore to play this game? Not nothing, nothing, because we really, we really uh, introduced everything that was a little bit specific. Hmm. Uh, but without being too, uh, how would I say, it's not focused on beginners, but you can still get it if you don't know anything. I'm very happy because um, people are already um, talking about the characters. There's one who says, like, uh, the policeman officing us too much. I want to see what you think the game is about, you know, I want, when people start asking themselves, oh, I think that this guy is creepy, I think that. I think it's cool for it's us. A, it's a really great game for letting you decide which characters you're going to trust. 
Yeah. Um, and who you think is, you know, on the good side, on the bad side, who is telling you the truth, who isn't. Um, and it lets you do that within the gameplay as well. Uh, and and, and, and what right. about cats? What about Actually, cat? we have a cat. <laughs> 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 and that's exactly as you say in Lovecraft. Well, they can, they hold more power in one pool that you can possibly imagine. Yep, that's true. She's like that. Our oh, cat. Will there be other Lovecraftian monsters that play a role in this game? Who can say? Who can say who's going to show up? The place has been Who knows? Could be anybody. There's only old Winchester in his hut. You cannot have a pet shog off. I apologize. <laughs> We He's should have got that into the, the design meeting. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like his son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. You stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay, but don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Any cameos from uh, other Lovecrafting characters that he may have made in his mythos? Um, Humans. That one, is. one particular one. Uh, oh, really? I thought the answer to this was no. Holy uh, shit. Ah, <laughs> not, not as NPCs, but mm. we talk, of course, about uh, one okay. or two different characters from Lovecraft. Yeah, it's a, it's an original story that uses the the basis of the Call of Cthulhu story exactly. and the Shadow of Rinsmith story to tell an original tale within the within the mythos. Cheapers. Poe's prophetic raven. Yeah, we don't have weird people that tend to be in that game. That's not the direction This house is much older than it seems. No fishmen confirmed. Yep. Oh, I like that part with the trees. Oh yeah, I love it. Just, look, just kind of exploring around this area. This is another area where multiple ways to get through it you'll see kind of the the i suppose the challenge for this area in a minute um but uh it's a really Flowers. nicely put together little Sarah little Hawkins, little fresh. level this one and it's it's pretty short and it's not you know it isn't as wide or as, as large as the docks area but it is um but someone enjoyable. must really hate charles hawkins poor kid well Oh my, how, does, how do you say that? Gorsnack? Gorsnack, there's always the possibility that we aren't telling you the whole truth. But indeed, what is truth, Pierre? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple of questions about the Sinking Sea. Um, someone asked, you know, are we worried about it? No. It's a, another game telling us, you know, a story that, is, that has similar inspirations. Uh, I think it's great that there's more Lovecraftian stories out there. Yeah, uh, the more people like Lovecraft, yeah. the happier we are. But we hope it's great. It's coming out in March. Yeah. It's a little further away from our game. Right. Mm. Please play ours. You know, let us know what we think. Please play theirs. Let them know what you think. Um, I'm super excited to play that as well. I know almost nothing about it. No. Um, and I'm but excited to see you know how the two can play. We don't know anything. Yeah, exactly. We focused on our game. Oh, yeah, we bet. didn't see yeah. the other ones. So I've been working a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of heads down. Um, but yeah, you know, we're excited. Whoa! You are we trying to force the door, you us, nosy um, prick! Easy, sir. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You it's know how we do it, Rubble. Like yeah, you. We're, uh, well, you see on the screen up in the top we right, it says yeah. Call of Cthulhu Beta. Um, that is a. It's an honest description of the game, and it's legitimate use of the word beta as well. It is in a beta stage. We have pretty much all the content is in there, like yep. all the levels are, you know, in there. All the idea of how you go through the game, what you do, the endings and such are in there. But um, you guys are pretty much working on the bugs at this stage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Debugging all day long. Yeah, you may have seen, you know, uh, some slight bugs in the. Oh, what should we do? Grab his axe. Try, try. Grab his axe. The timer. Ah, oh, wow, that was. Oh, yeah. Got it. Tom is an absolute pro gamer. <laughs> Got build tension. 
control yourself. And you succeed. You've Ooh. got guts, you little bastard. Thank you, Gorsna. I, I hope you enjoy it. I've got some talking to do. Understood. Would you say the story is self-contained or sets itself up for a continuation? Now, this is difficult to answer without spoilers. I guess that depends on what you do. <laughs> yeah, I think that depends on your interpretation. Uh, and your ending, and a number of other things. Yeah, and, and I did a lot of choices, depending on your choices. Rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I yes. can't let you in. Man in the room five, is it's a uh, hide and seek. That's why you yep. mostly. The mostly. There are it's moments right. where... This door. It's we, we have a different rhythm. Sure yes, yeah, yeah, different different things through happen throughout the game. Um, I think there's a nice... You're no match for me. Are you just That's beating up an old man at this point? Sorry, me and Pierre are paying, you know, quite a lot of attention to the game, but we're trying to focus on chat. And while we're doing that, an old man is being bullied by Tom Butler. Rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this match. Terran the Mad. Uh, that is a question we absolutely cannot answer without spoiling the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I, I would love to tell you, yeah. but uh, play it. Please play it. Please let us know what you think. And hey, if you want a sequel, let Cyanide know. Yep, yeah, we, we already have Steam, Steam achievements in. Um, we actually tried to hide them just because it's kind of weird to have Steam achievements popping up during a stream. Uh, I thought I had, and I hadn't. This is all my fault. Everything that's happening is my fault. Um, but yes, yeah, so you get a little preview of them in French there. Piers, shall we enter? Gamzrak, we're, uh, we're interested to see what people think in comparison to the old game. Um, I personally like it a lot. I like the old game a lot as well. Um, and I'm, I'm interested to see yeah, you know, how people compare. So there will be action-oriented sections. There are sections which have action in them. Yep. I don't know if I would describe them as action-oriented. Because you are still within those playing a investigative... Yeah. Uh, a private investigator. You are not yeah, yeah. playing a so well. He's an ex-soldier, but he isn't a yeah. You're a still a, a mere human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, yeah, and, you, and some of the things you're yeah. that are that are doing that action are not mere humans. Yeah, exactly. Follow me. The soundtrack is atmospheric. This is atmospheric. What, yeah, the sound designer told me. That's it's how you. Atmospheric. That's how you describe it. Yeah. So now inside the house, did we do the? You didn't spend the points, did you, Tom? You did exactly ah. what you said you were going to do, which was not spend the points and then didn't spend the points. He's looking at me like I'm an ass. So... You have six character points to spend. Six? Whoa! What are you trying to do now? Uh, Get some investigation. Strength. Strength. You're just, you're just going all in strength. in strength. So as you can see, you kind of get these, these character points fairly quickly through the game. But some, yes, but hidden. I think it's good. Um, but you, because you can't level up medicine and occult outside of the initial the initial start of the game where you get to decide exactly what starting levels you want those to have, um, having those character points isn't always going to let you do exactly what you want. Yeah. And as we already told them, medicine and occultism can't be increased yeah. through the scale points. You and as to... I mentioned earlier, uh, yeah. that screen is currently yeah. under development. There is a yeah, new version exactly. coming soon. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to show that to you guys uh, uh, mm. soon, TM. Yeah. You're also seeing um, the, the way that we track yeah. the, the clues and, and show you what's in your inventory and that sort of thing. Um, again, some of this is temporary. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of the final stuff that, that's being worked on, as we mentioned, the game being in beta. Um, and yeah, this is where you get to look and see exactly, you know, what have you discovered? What have you found? What items do you have with you? Um, as well as, what, uh, what does Pearson know? Or think he knows. Yeah. So we've got one more investigation scene to go, I believe. Uh, and then we'll probably have to wrap it up. It's been a pleasure. Already? Yes. Like the last time. supper of the it's been Hawkins. An hour. An hour. We sadly, uh, sadly, we don't have the full two hours. Yeah. I would, I would love to, but you have to go back to making a game. <laughs> I have to go back <laughs> right, to making yes, trailers exactly. and such. But we've got uh, one more investigation we'll scene to go through. Um, and uh, we'll probably do another Call of Cthulhu stream at some point. Cool. Why not? Are there other languages besides English? There are for written text. Uh, the audio is English only, yep. but we have a number Thanks. of languages that you can see over on the Steam page. Um, uh, the, the, the text and the menus have all like been translated this. into, or will be translated. Any event to boost intellect and occult? So for occult, this you can read books, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And find uh, occult uh, items. Yeah, which teach you about the occult through various means. Play the full game, please. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> no way.
Not until launch. So I, I'm sure there'll be a number of people on Boy, Twitch playing this whole game probably come launch here. day. That will be fun Smashed his place. Any, oh, I like this question. Any worry about launching so close to Red Dead Redemption 2? We think Cthulhu is scarier than Cowboys. <laughs> you can wait for that. I have. So I have been waiting for that. Why did she leave it untouched? Uh, did you visit any real Something locations for inspiration? Not personally, like mm -hmm. unfortunately. Level designers may have. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there's always looking at pictures and stuff. Exactly. Hey, uh, did you purely pull from Lovecraft, or did you look at later prestige writers? Oh, that's an excellent question. Um, about we know about them, life. because of what we, well, we discovered when day. we started working on the, Love, so the Lovecraft uh, work is that it was uh, actually the inventor of, um, uh, how would you say, it's a story on various medium. No, like, yeah, yeah, like the Star Wars. Uh, oh, um, a multimedia production. Yeah, right. exactly. So what Lovecraft did, he was uh, inventing this cult of Tulu, and a lot of writers did wrote Let's story about him, and he was sending them letters uh, with uh, informations about the cult, about how you spell words, where it origins, and he was. Uh, Looking at this world, world they expanding, it's incredible. So, of Why? course, we watched it closely. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera back on so they can see our beautiful, beautiful faces.